Hello, it's Sheree Valentine, and I'm here with another episode of Tappy Break for You, where we literally tap on the endpoints of your meridian system to flush out the energy that is stuck, stagnant, or stale. We do this while we also talk and access either emotions you're aware of or those that you're not even aware that you're holding on to are carrying so that again we can bring to the surface any kind of belief or memory or trigger that is running the show for you um, and bringing you results that you really don't want in your life or in your business in your health in your relationships depending you know where where's it not working for you this is just one really powerful way to deal with those inconsistencies in your life and those disconnects. Um, so we're going to tap and talk so that you can find some relief in your life and find more joy in the things that you want to experience. Today, we are going to put our attention on clearing toxic and negative energy that you receive from others. This is something that we're not always aware of. You might be aware that you go into a room or you go into a conversation or where you work is just really heavy, it's dense. There's so much negativity around you. You may have family members where you feel that way and you're aware that you feel that and you know that it's there. But what you might not be aware of is that you're actually carrying that with you even when you leave the situation or when you leave the environment that you've actually absorbed it into the energy that surrounds you. And if you don't clear it, if you don't release it, if you don't let it go, it can actually come in closer and closer and closer until it literally hits you physically. So oftentimes you may feel that you are experiencing emotion and you don't, you have no idea where it came from. It might be yours. It might be something long buried and, and, and ready to come to the surface and be released. And that's often the case. And it also might be that it's not even yours at all. You know, you're just, you're still carrying it from somebody else. So we want to give you a tool in a way to release and clear and let go of any of that energy that you are carrying today that's not yours in the first place. And I have with me, um, well, thank you. I have with me in the house, Nicole Levesque, who is your soul, who, who is your soul guide and who brings us many, many nuggets of wisdom and understanding about ourselves through nature. And she has a wonderful show every Monday called Soulful Journeys. And if you're not following her on Blab, I invite you to follow her and to start joining her on Mondays. And if you can't join her live, catch the replays because you will walk away with a, such a different perspective on your life and on your journey. And I promise you it's worth the time that it takes. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. What an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being here and joining me. <laughs> okay. So how this works is I pretty much um, say something and you repeat after me. So N Nicole is my, is my shadow voice. So this you, week, you're, yeah. this week I'm, I'm hopping into this uh, full blown. Okay. <laughs> okay. But before we start tapping, I would just like you to put your feet on the floor mm. and take a deep breath. Hi, Fernando. Hi, Fernando. Release. And I'm just going to bring you through a very simple, short exercise that's going to begin the process of us. So I want you to put your attention at the base of your spine. In this, there is an energy center here that is called your root chakra. You don't need to know that or be aware of it or understand it for this. You just need to trust that it's there. And I want you to allow your attention to let a grounding cord grow from this space, from this energy center in your body that is behind the base of your spine and let it grow down deep into the center of the earth. You might feel this, you might sense this, you may see it, you may know it, you may have no idea and that's okay. Set the intention and the intention is powerful. So we are setting an intention to provide a space for all of this energy that you're going to release and let go to just go straight down this cord into the center of the earth where it is received there in a very loving place and where there is light that will transmute that energy. At the same time, we're going to expand that cord out so that it's not just coming straight down from your root chakra, but it's actually expanding out past your physical body, past your energy body, even out past the room that you're in. We are just going to really open up this space around you, okay? And let that ground into the earth. 
And we are going to bring in this beautiful golden light from above, from the sun and from the sky and from the stars and from the moon that has all this beautiful energy of love and guidance. And we're going to let that saturate the room that you are in. We are going to let that saturate that space that just surrounds your body. We are going to bring that in through the crown chakra and let it saturate our physical body. And we are going to bring that in and let it fill each and every one of our energy centers. And this light is also a light of health and transmutation. So it's already starting to work on clearing any energies that are in the room, that are in your energy field, that are in your body, that's in your energy space, that is ready to be released. Anything that's negative and toxic that you are ready to release, we're already doing that just with the intention that we're setting. Now we're going to start to tap so that we can specifically maybe target in on some things that are more specific, specifically bringing this energy to you and create a space and an environment for ourselves and within ourselves that we actually learn to repel it and not bring it on in the first place. Sound good? <laughs> I know that I need this. And this was life changing for me. Trust me, folks, especially if you're someone who is not aware that this is going on and you start to run this energy the way I just did for you, and you start to like really have a sense and an understanding and awareness that this is taking place and that you can set up these energetic barriers, it is life changing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your health can start to increase. Pain can start to disappear. You bring more joy into your life and you start to become more and more centered in who you are, in your truth, in your emotions, Okay, and what's right for your true and what's yours. Okay, so here we go. We start on the karate chop point as always. And yes, it looks a little weird if you're new to this, but just trust me and play along, please, because you're going to only understand and receive the benefits by doing it, not by watching it. <laughs> okay, thanks. All right, here we go. And if hello I can to see everyone. This on camera, you guys can do it at home. Too. Yes, come on now. You're not on camera, so no one will see you. Walter and who else? I'm going to say. And Guido, thanks for being here. And Fernando, thank you. And for my nudes. My nudes. All right. I'm glad you're all here. Please tap along with me. And then afterwards, if you're brave and you want to come in and tell me what it was like for you or what you think of the whole thing, I'd love to hear your feedback. Okay. So just usually I have you set a really specific intention, but today, because this is such a general thing, I think we're just going to just jump right in without it. just, you know, you've set the intention already by what we did with grounding and setting up that space and starting this whole process. Okay. So on that side of the hand. So even though I'm carrying all of this negative energy. So even though I'm carrying all of this negative energy. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It does not want to stay on my head. There we go. That's not even mine. It's not even mine. But it's in, it's, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on today. Headset doesn't want to stay on. Okay. Let me try this. Okay. And it's not even mine. And it's not even mine. But it is affecting me. But it is affecting me. I choose to love and respect where I am. I choose to love and respect where I am. So even though I have all of this toxic and negative energy, so even though I have all of this toxic and negative energy, it surrounds me. It surrounds me. It's within me. It's within me. I may be aware of it. I might be aware of it. I might not be. I might not be. And it might be mine. Might be mine. Might not be. Might not be. But I set the intention. But I set the intention. To release this energy. To release this energy. Write down my grounding cord. Right down to my grind, I have my grounding cord deep into the earth, deep into the earth where I can let it go, where I can let it go. So, even though I may be carrying all of this energy, so even though I may be carrying all of this energy that is not serving me, but and it's not serving me because my choice is to be positive, my choice is to be positive and not carry all this negativity. And not carry all this negativity. I also love and accept myself. I also love and accept myself. If I am carrying this. If I am carrying this. No blame. No blame. No shame. No shame. Top of the head. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my muscles. 
I can feel it in my muscles. I can feel it in my thoughts. I can feel it in my thoughts. I can hear it in my words. I can hear it in my words. There's this tone of negativity. There's this tone of negativity. There's an undercurrent. There's an undercurrent. Sometimes it's really obvious to me. Sometimes it's really obvious to me. But most of the time it's not. But most of the time it's not. But it's there. But it's there. I feel it when I'm contracted. I feel it when I'm contracted. My muscles are tight. My muscles are tight. I walk into a room. I walk into a room. And I feel like a hammer has come down on my head. And I feel like a hammer just came down on my head. And when I walked into that room. And when I walked into that room. I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty light. I was feeling very light. I was ready. I was ready. And I felt like I slammed into a wall. And then I hit that wall. And I'm starting to understand. And I'm starting to understand. That that wasn't me in the first place. But that wasn't even me in the first place. It was the people that were already there. It was the people that were already there. And I work in an environment. And I work in an environment. That feels like that every day. It feels like that every day. And when I leave that place. And when I leave that place. I feel like I need a shower. I feel like I need a shower. Just to wash all that negativity out. Just to wash all that negativity out. Clear all that toxicity. Clear all the toxicity. Every time I hang the phone up. Every time I hang up that phone. From, and you fill in the blank, everyone who's tapping, because you all have that person. <laughs> so every time I hang up from that phone call. From that phone call. That sets me off. That just gets to me. <laughs> and makes me feel so heavy. And really makes me feel heavy. And I just want to plunge into the sea. And I just want to plunge into the sea. To release all of that energy. To release all of that energy. <clears throat> and I'm starting to understand. And I'm really starting to understand. That maybe I have more choices around this. That maybe I have more choices around this. That I don't have to be in that situations. I, that I don't have to uh, be that, in situations. Be in the situation, yeah. With people that cause this. With the people that cause this. I choose to be present. I choose to be present. And loving. And loving. And hopeful. And hopeful. And positive and positive and it's really hard to do it's really hard to do with the people that surround me with the people that surround me but i don't know how to change that i don't know how to change that i can't just cut them out of my life i can't just cut them out of my life well, maybe yes i can oh well, maybe i can but that's for a different tapping session <laughs> <laughs> that's for another time <laughs> Right now, I'm going to learn how to just clear that energy. I know I'm just going to learn how to clear that energy. And let it go. And let it go. And before I go into situations. And before I go into situations. That are stressful. That are stressful. That are tense. That are tense. That are negative. That are negative. That are disempowering. That are disempowering. That are filled with negativity. That are filled with negativity. And judgment. And judgment. And criticism. And criticism. Before I go into those situations. Before I go into those situations. And I know which ones those are. And I know which ones those are. I'm going to surround myself with light. 
I'm going to surround myself with light. I'm going to fill myself with light. I'm going to fill myself with light. I'm going to connect to the earth. And connect to the earth. And I'm going to invite the earth and the light. And I'm going to invite the earth and the light. To form a protective barrier for me. To form that protective barrier for me. So that I don't have to be affected so that I don't have to be affected or reactive or reactive to that energy to that energy which does not serve me which just doesn't does serve, serve me and around that light I am going to bring in a mirror that faces out and around that light I'll put a mirror that faces that light and I set the intention and I set the intention that anything that comes toward me that anything that comes towards me that is heavy that is heavy or negative or negative or condescending or condescending or critical or critical or toxic in any way or toxic in any way is reflected back to the center is reflected back to the center with consciousness with consciousness and love and love i do not have to take that on I don't have to take that on I do not have to be affected by it I don't have to be affected by it and I also don't even have to judge it and I also don't even have to judge it everyone is on their own path everyone is on their own path they're on their own road they're on their own road and I give them permission and I give them permission to take their journey to take their journey any way that's working for them in the way that is working for them and I give myself permission and I give myself permission to be on my journey to be on my journey in a way that works for me in a way that works for me so I won't judge those people so I won't judge those people and I won't judge myself and I won't judge myself. But I will give myself permission. But I will give myself permission. To surround myself more and more. To surround myself more and more. With a supportive energy. With that supportive energy. And a loving energy. And a loving energy. And bring more of those people into my life. And bring more of those people in my life. Because that is my choice because that is my choice out of love and respect for myself out of love and respect for myself take a breath and let it go <sighs> no kidding. wow did i ever need that one? Oh, good 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 oh wow i'm so happy good. to hear that from you oh, thank perfect. you so much yeah. oh great Okay, so that's Tappy for this week. <laughs> um, if if this worked for you and you loved it, come back to it anytime you you need that reminder. Share it out, please. If you think that if you know someone that will benefit from it, please share it out. Uh, come back again when we tap next time. And um, I'm going to open up the room if anyone wants to come in and just you know ask questions about what we just did or share your experience or bring another perspective. Um, love to hear it. So we'll wait a couple minutes, and if anyone wants to come in, great. And if not, we'll close out. <laughs> cool. Close it. All right, then, I guess. Well, thanks for being here. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday at 1 o'clock for another tapping. Um, and I think next week we might be focusing on shame, releasing shame, deep-rooted shame. Okay. And it's going to be shame. Um, so if you know that you're carrying shame, that's going to be great. But I think this is going to be geared more for those people who have absolutely no idea that they're still carrying shame. Because I really found that sneak up on me recently. And it was amazing. I did this amazing um, meditation actually yesterday. Yeah. And I was shocked to see that what showed up as something that was still sh trying to, it was interfering with shame. So we did a, a very loving, accepting exercise around it. So next week, we're going to focus on shame at 1 o'clock on Thursday, Eastern Standard Time next week, Fernando. Thank you. All right, then, everyone. Have a great week. And uh, keep surrounding yourself with love and light and sending back anything negative with love and consciousness and just be in your space. 
and create your joy. Mm. I'll pause the recording. <laughs>